JC Milan MTL here and today I'm here to talk to you about the 2013 international friendly match between Italy and San Marino that was played at the Dallara in Bologna. So of course I'm going to be talking about the match events in general and then the player performances. Before starting I just want to say that this match was an international friendly match the last match before the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup that will happen next month in Brazil from June 15th to June 30th featuring 8 of the world's best teams. So of course as I said today we played against San Marino a team that of course is known as one of the worst teams in the world. Um, as a matter of fact before this game they have lost 66 straight so I think the facts pretty much says it all. Now, before starting to talk about the game, uh, Brandelli involved five Rossoneri in the Italy squad, in which are Abate, De Scirio, Montolivo, El Shalawi, and Balotelli. And uh, these players were all called up to take part in this friendly match. However, Montolivo, El Shalawi, and Balotelli were decided to be kept out because they had suffered some minor injuries during the week. And therefore, uh, Prandelli wanted to preserve that for the next week because there's a FIFA World Cup qualifying match between Italy and the Czech Republic, in which I will be talking about later. Now, of course, this match, international friendly match against San Marino, uh, a team that, as I said before, is not very good, and Italy had to show what they were made of today against them, and also a good opportunity for many of the Italy players that are not quite known to showcase what they're worth. Uh, just a side note on this, the squad, the Italy squad is currently composed of 30 players in which will be reduced to 23 on Monday and that will be the final squad for the FIFA Confederations Cup. Therefore, every player wanted to prove their worth in this game. Now let's get right into the game guys. Italy played a very good match of course against a very weak opponent. Uh, really no problems whatsoever for the Italy team. The game was won 4-0 thanks to goals from Poli, Gilardino, Pirlo and Avilani to round up the score. And uh, of course it was a very easy game for uh, Italy. Lots of chances. San Marino actually got very lucky because Italy missed many chances and their goalie, the San Marino goalie actually saved a lot of shots. Uh, and this game could have turned out very ugly for them, for San Marino, of course. So, as I said, uh, four goal scorers, four goals for Italy. These players all played very good. Today, we see the goal from Poli, which is one of our primary targets this summer for our signings. And uh, reports are saying that we already signed this player, however, there's no official communication by Milan just yet. So it's good to see a new player that might come to Milan get on the score sheet and Poli did just that. We also saw goals from former uh, Milan players which included Girardino, Pirlo and Aquilani. And it's always good to see these players score. As for the Milan players in this game, three of them played and they are De Scirio, Abate and Balotelli. Now before I said that Balotelli was kept out by Prandelli due to uh, some minor injuries to his back that he received during the week. However, Prandelli still put him out in the second half because Balotelli was really hungry to get some goals and obviously give a show to the fans. Now the first substitution was actually made for De Chirio as he came on just before the half time. Abate came on in the second half to replace Maggio and uh, Balotelli came in the second half as well. Very good game by the Milan players all together. What I particularly find very good was Abate that actually really showed that he's improving in his crosses, delivered very good crosses, also delivered a very nice ball to Balotelli which he later hit the crossbar. As for Balotelli, very good game for him. He hit the crossbar, the pulse on the free kick, very unlucky not uh, to score today for him, but overall, very good game by these players, by the Milan players, by the Demon overall, and obviously it wasn't a tough match, it was more a match for the fans, and more a match for the players to showcase their talents. As I said before, on Monday, Prandelli will reduce the squad from 30 players to 23, and that's the squad that he will bring to the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup. 
The next match for Italy will be against the Czech Republic on June 7th. As I mentioned before, a very important match because with a win, Italy could almost secure their 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification. So it's very important to get the three points in that match. Of course, it won't be easy as the Czech Republic is playing home and overall, they're a pretty solid team. So that's about it about the matches guys in general. For all you Milanistas, please follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook for daily Milan news as I post on a daily basis on these social media accounts. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe for more Milan vlogs and more Italian national team vlogs. As in June, I will be showcasing all the FIFA Confederations Cup matches for Italy. And in July, I will obviously be showcasing the Milan preseason matches and more. Thanks for watching guys, this has been AC Milan, MTL here signing off, as usual, Forza Milan and Forza